I'm saying to my people, been a good minute since I since I holla at y'all. I'm trying to fix this chair. But uh, yeah, been a good minute since I since I holla at y'all and did one of my little five minute uh things. But this if if this not a perfect time for where nothing is. So I to hit y'all with the five minutes. Start now. So thing I'm gonna be talking about today. Terrence Crutcher or whatever. I can't I can't think of his name. I I should have uh looked it up before I did the video. But uh it's just been on my mind all day. Just especially I've been thinking about the the Kaepernick shit and stuff. And how they, they want to crucify the brother and anybody else for for their right to protest and forget about what we protesting for. Like they try they try to sweep that under the rug like like nah you shouldn't be protesting ain't nothing broken with the system nobody man people get murdered in the streets like this occasion right here this new one it, it hurts it hurts man it's a brother he he wasn't doing nothing violent he wasn't no criminal they can't they can't paint him as a criminal say he was doing something he was intimidating but he's a bad dude he must be on some stuff he was broke down on the fucking road man you supposed to serve and protect then when I murdered that man, they had other brothers, brother out there selling CDs. They killed him. Brother out there trying to sell him loose cigarettes. They killed him. And, oh man, something wrong with him. Oh, this one did this. This one did that. You can't justify that. Like they, uh, Trayvon Martin. The brother, he went to the store to get some, some motherfucking Skittles and a, and a fucking tea. And they murdered their boy. Like they, they keep doing this over and over and over. And then what we gonna do? We're gonna protest. We're gonna protest or something. And they gonna they gonna hold more value to bashing the protest and use that just to sweep everything else under the rug. They're probably gonna have a celebrity uh Scandal, or uh, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, they're gonna they're gonna get into it on TMZ or something. That's gonna sweep it under the rug. That's gonna take the headlines. Like our lives don't mean nothing. And what what can we do? What can we do about it? Like we gotta. In in the thing that that makes us mad is. It's fucked up that they doing this, but the thing that really makes us mad, now I know me personally, is because nobody answers for it. It's like our lives don't mean nothing. They kill brothers, and then it's like, oh well, uh, this happened, and like that police officer, he get they gonna get vacation and shit. Like that's a punishment. You gonna get vacation? Man, they get more punishment. Homeboy the other day in the NFL, he wore some Yeezy cleats. And they find him and shit. Like they get more punishment for wearing the wrong cleats in the game than for the cops murdering a motherfucker in the streets. Like you get paid vacation for killing somebody, dog. You you giving somebody a a prize. Like for real. You think about it. You think about it. You at your job, you got a nine to five, you breaking your back every day. You go fuck around. You you picking up some pipes or something? Some, you work a million dollar operation. You fuck something up. You fuck something up and they send you home. They be like, ah, oh, you fucked up. You fucked up, man. Go on for two weeks, paid leave. What? For real? That is the equivalent of what's happening, man. And nobody is nobody with authority is saying something. Ain't nobody is, is standing up for her. Ain't nobody is talking down or like the cops they acting like a big ass fucking gang. And now nah, we can't snitch on our own and shit. Like wrong is wrong. Right is right. If a nigga doing some, some bullshit, if somebody if he if a brother in the in the street he's shooting back and forth at the cops or you just murder somebody or something and the cop kill him, man, we can't justify that. But if a brother in the street 
he ain't doing shit, he chilling, and you just murdered a brother, that's fucking wrong. If a brother go and just shoot a cop right now, the cop ain't did nothing, just go shoot him, that's wrong. I say that's wrong. Why they can't do the same thing? Why you can't you can't put yourself in somebody else's shoes? You higher, you higher than that. Y'all God. That's what it seeming like. That's what it seeming like, man. And it, it's the same thing over and over and over. So that's my five minutes, man. That's just my thoughts on this. What are y'all thoughts on the situation? It's the, it's the same story. The same story, man. I'm getting tired of watching this movie. Dog, it could be any one of us. It could be any one of us. You can you can go out and you can go to the store right now. Say you you go into Walmart and somebody says, "Oh, he looks suspicious," and they run up on you, and you fit the description or something. Oh, he's dangerous, cause somebody else probably said something. Or uh, just cause you black, homeboy broke down on the side of the road. He looks like a bad dude. What kind of bullshit is that? How can you be police and you be authority figures and stuff and you that scared you that scared of a brother's skin? We don't own shit. We make up like 13% of the population. We outnumbered. Why are you so scared of black people? I Me, mean, look, I'm I'm five six by 140 soaking wet. I can see six foot seven white supremacists and shit. They in the street. They in Walmart or something. Well, I keep saying Walmart. I don't want to give them more plugs or something. I just see them in the street, walking by. I'm on Bourbon Street or something, walking by. And they got a big skinhead with Nazi signs or something. He's walking by me. What the fuck I would be scared of him for? Like, if, if something happened, if something happened, something happened. I'm not going to be scared of one person. Now I can see, now if I go in a meeting, a white supremacist meeting or something, I turn in a country road and they have a fucking Klan rally and they got the, the fucking uh, burning the cross and shit. And there's a million of motherfuckers. Well, then I can see why I'd be scared. But, like, you the police, y'all are know, but they got one person. And you scared of that person? I'm a little small ass nigga. I'm not going to be scared of one person. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Going to be the greatest of the most hated. Fuck with your boy, man. People that uh, fuck with me on the shoes, man, uh, made a pickup last night, man. Hopefully, going to have something coming in soon. But, uh, do a review on that. I'm going to try and do a, uh, Trying to do a performance test. I was thinking about it today, but then I, I procrastinated. I just went shoot ball. But uh, fuck with y'all, man. Much love to you. Stay safe.